In this video, we are going to create a navigation form and make one of the tabs uh, able to quit Microsoft Access. So um, the navigation form is a little different than the other forms in that it is a form that is made to hold other forms rather than being sort of a form in itself. So navigation forms are created here under the Create menu, Navigation, Horizontal Tabs. And you'll see it's a tabbed interface to other forms. So it's to make your user interface more user friendly, not for displaying new information. So I'll take my, and it's kind of drag and drop. So I'll take my employee form, drag it to the Add New button and that it that's an example of it not working let me undo that and click on the add new button and try that again so you'll notice sometimes that add new button has to be clicked first i've got a small orange bar to the left of my drag here just before i drop it that indicates it is going to drop correctly this time now i'll let go of the mouse button and now I've correctly added the employee form I can add the products form the same way now I'm going to add a quit tab by clicking here where it says add new and then I'll single click a second time and it lets me type the word quit and I'll hit enter that doesn't really do anything yet except make the tab it doesn't get us so that we actually can quit I will right click and go to properties so we're going to properties of that tab so the quit is still highlighted it's called navigation button 12 but we don't really care and we're going to go to the event on click or the on click event that's what happens when somebody clicks on that control in this case a tab and we'll go to the three dot thing here to call up the wizards and we'll use macro builder and this is a place for you to visually write a computer program. And we're going to write a very simple one that has one line called quit access. I just hit the Q button on my keyboard, then hit the enter key. And we have a one line macro or even a little computer program that quits access. And up here in the top, I'll hit save and close. And now that macro has been stored in this on-click event. Over here, I'll switch to form view and the quit macro will actually work. Well, it's going to ask me to save my navigation form, which I haven't saved yet, but then 